Okay, so here I have a Roland Super JV 64 voice synthesizer module. It's a JV 1080, it's the first one of the series. They can hold four expansion cards. This one already has one installed, it has the Techno card installed. A few weeks ago, I went and bought another card. I got the bass and drums expansion. Now among synthesis, this one is not the most popular, it's actually the opposite of popular. However, it has jazz bass sounds recorded by Marcus Miller, who's a very good jazz bassist. And it'll allow me as a producer to add different sounds than I would normally have. So I believe the way to install this so I gotta unscrew these and then open up the hatch. So I'll unscrew those, that top hatch, and then I'll be back. Okay, remove the screws, taking the plate off. And now, now we see here I have the Techno Collection card, card SR SRJV80. Dash 11. So I'm going to stick in this one. And so we line that up. It's got little guide posts. And I guess that's it. Okay, so it's saying to lock them in. So they face that way and then I lock in. I wonder how you do that. Just using my finger to kind of push it in under there. Oh. This should be good. All right, so I'm gonna turn off. So I'm gonna rescrew this in, and I'll plug it in. I don't think it really needs to be really locked in. Uh, it doesn't really feel like this is going to fall out. It'd be better if it was locked in like that. And of course, I don't have the manual saying how you're supposed to actually achieve this locking. 
because it's right, you can't just turn it with your fingers. Oh well. Put the lid back on. Okay, so with these, a lot of the Roland synths, they don't use the standard plug, they use a two pin plug instead from Japan. We're lucky that this one uses these. Alright, so I'm just going to plug it in. Turn it on. Alright, so it took me a minute to refigure out the interface for this. So, user card. So, A and B are the two different banks. That's if you've saved a B. And then there's the data card here. And the PCM card here, and I don't have any of those plugged in. So the preset expansion has four banks, and the EXP is the expansion cards. A is the techno card. B is the card for the drum and bass that we just installed. All right. So I hope you found this informative. If any of you figured out how to turn the locks without using pliers, please let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe and hope to see you again soon. All right. Thank you. Bye.